removing rootkits or a rootkit off of your computer. Basically what a rootkit is, it uh, hides in the system files, it hides in the system processes, basically so it's not known that you that it's on your computer. So basically what it allows the uh, I guess the attacker of that file to gain access to your computer slash network and may retrieve other information like that. Also, if you have a rootkit on your computer, most likely when you Google something, uh, the Google results that you click on will not be that result. It will come up to a different website than what is shown in the Google results. Because normally, if you didn't have a rootkit, you would do a Google search and it would come up with the results and when you click that result link it would go to that website listed below that result that you clicked on so the best bet is to remove this rootkit or rootkits off of your computer uh, there is a, f a nice utility uh, which is on this site I'll have the link in the description basically what you want to do is you want to download this save file you want to save the file to your computer once it gets done downloading We're gonna now run this utility so you can remove any rootkit you have on your computer. Basically, you wanna run this, and what you do is you just wanna do start scan. Now, if you had something on your computer, it would come up. Uh, I'll show you here. It would come up with stuff that's found. So you would have to just basically click continue. Uh, sometimes, uh, if you got a cure, uh, a lot of stuff that's running in the system processes or stuff like that would have to be cured or removed upon a reboot so you would have to reboot as it's asking right here it says infected objects found cure will be completed after a computer reboot so you would have to reboot your computer uh, this right here would remove uh, most rootkits uh, works good if you have any questions comments uh, just let me know and you help with anything let me know talk to you later